remember I mentioned a few videos ago that I was going to be taking part in a Blackout KFC £50,000 tournament with 15 other UK YouTubers and streamers to compete for a chance to win a KFC black card, which means unlimited lifetime chicken forever. Forever! Before we begin, of course, this video is sponsored by KFC Gaming in collaboration with Activision. Thank you to those two companies for letting me be a part of this exciting tournament. Now, there's two stages to this tournament. The first stage is what I was promoting beforehand, which is what involved you guys. You guys signed up and competed against one another in a knockout style tournament to see who could get the most kills in a blackout squad game. The person with the most kills or damage, if both had the same amount of kills, would then move on to the next round until there's only one person left, which would then be crowned as my personal champion and would compete with me in the grand finals. In the grand finals, which is the second stage, the YouTuber and their champion will battle against each other in squads to again see who could get the most amount of kills in a blackout game until there's just one YouTuber and champion left. The YouTuber slash streamer wins their KFC black card and the champion wins £15,000 out of the £50,000 prize pool. That's some serious dollar to be won. The first stage of qualifiers I streamed over on my Twitch about a month ago. You can go ahead and follow me on there if you wish. Twitch.tv slash a gaming lemon cheeky little plug. I stream every now and again. We just hang out and shit is pretty great. Oh, yo, Minion, what have you just done? So I had the role of spectating one game out of each round to see who would be my champion and compete with me in the grand finals. It was really entertaining to watch, to be fair. There were some seriously good blackout players to watch out there, and we were all kind of placing bets on who would win each round. Some parts were pretty intense. Oh, risky business! Risky business! Oh, shit! Oh my days, fair play! What a, what a play! KFC also sent me a hefty gift box open on stream which had some nifty little things in it like a shirt, trackies, headphones and all that jazz. But what stuck out to me the most was this mysterious old school KFC phone. It seemed to be working even though that there was nothing really plugged into it. How is it working? Is it phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, the colonel sends me some bloody KFC chicken! That was probably the best part of the stream. Eventually, after hours of battling and searching, we finally reached a conclusion as we spectate the final of the qualifiers. Minions play COD versus Rossi M17, both very good players. Here we can see that almost in the final circle, with just seven people remaining near the end of the game, both on seven kills each. If they both die with the same amount of kills, the winner is picked with whoever has the most damage, which is currently Minions. The winner of this wins a guaranteed £800 and a chance to compete in the grand finals with me. Stakes are high, shit's intense, it all comes down to this. Very small circle. Gunfire. I don't think that's it directed at either of them two. Still. Oh, 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 he looked away for one second. He's got hit, he's out. And that's it, I think Minions won. He has. He has minions won, he's in the final, he's won on damage even though they've got the same amount of kills, that's it. And alas, the winner is picked. My duo partner for the grand finals is Minions Play Cod. Congratulations to him, my dude, well done. Unlucky Rossi M17, but you played incredibly well. GG's to everyone. I was happy with the outcome, he seemed like a pretty smart player, we saw him early in the stream. Things seemed good. Fast forward about a month later to February 24th, the day of the grand finals. Some top blackout players are competing in this tournament, like Syndicate, who has hundreds of blackout wins under his belt and streams it daily, Optic Sprat, a Call of Duty sniping elite, both top favourites to win this Call of Duty tournament. And then there's me. Can I... Alright, now this is the real test. Can I climb back down properly? Ah, here we go. Ah! No. Regardless, I was confident. I was excited. Just a chance to win a KFC black card is enough. So here's what the tournament bracket looks like for the grand finals. As you can see, there's a total of five rounds to be played. However, if you lost, you did have a chance to redeem yourself. You'd fall into the loser bracket and play anyone else who happened to lose during that round as well. You could make it all the way to the final from the loser bracket, but now you'd have to play a total of seven rounds if you lost the first round. If you lose in the loser bracket though, that's it, you're out of the tournament. So you essentially get two chances. 
As you can see here, I've been drawn to play Zerka and his duo partner in the first round. With two and a half hours to go until the start of the tournament, me and my duo partner Minions are getting into practice games and testing out the stream before we go. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't joinable, so I just have to restart oh, bollocks. the game. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Put back on now, Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, I was just about to delete it. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be very oh. good. <laughs> what an idiot! Could you imagine if I actually did that? I'll just restart see if mine will change. Oh, Basically, if you, you want one, one to be open, that means like they're the easiest ones to join. But if you both moderate, it takes the piss a bit, to be fair. Alright. I might have to restart my internet, maybe. Oh, shit! I fucking deleted it! You're kidding me! <laughs> Twat. Luckily, you only have to install a third of the game to make Blackout playable, which was extremely lucky, because I don't know what I would have done if that wasn't the case. I try not to think about it. To be honest with you, I wanted to keep my expectations realistic. I was happy to be part of the tournament, and I really just wanted to win one game. I wanted one victory, that's all I wanted. And I knew we could do it. Alright, yeah. hello, hello, hello. Good day. Hello. It's first round time. Good shit. So Let's I'm get gonna it. get this launched. Uh, good luck to both of you. Alright, cool, my you too. Mate can't join this party, but he said good luck as well. Awesome. Yep. Send him my best, oh. best words. All the best. <laughs> See you later. In a yeah, bit. Get, that get those kills. Likewise. Th 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 those are all fake words. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it's, it's happening! It's happening! Right here we go. All we needed to do was get more kills than the other two, and we get through to the next round. And it's a battle royale, so the two of them could get killed right off the bat, and then we'd only need one. We just gotta make sure we're on top of our game here. Oh, oh wait, I think I've landed the wrong place. You have. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Where are you? Oh my god. Sorry, I can make my way over. Okay, not the best start. Okay, how are the others doing? Alright, they've both got a kill each. <laughs> we need to get going. That's alright. That's right, early days on org. Perfect. That is my gun. There's a swift here, by the way, if you want it. I'm not too I'm not too bad with this gun. It seems to be my sort of gun, the org people, so that's alright. Now I just gotta get the kills in. Got 52 people left already. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that's alright. Is there zombies near here? That's what that means, yeah. Yeah, right? over there. Oh, oh. It's not right here. That's not Brilliant. good. That's not good. Brilliant. Well, I mean, we still got some sort of chance. Well, we lost. Not completely, but we're now in the loser bracket, playing against Gaz, who's from Geordie Shore, I think, while Zerka is through to the next round against Sprat. But like I said, this is a battle royale. Anything can happen. So you never know. We could always get that black card and, uh, wing it. <laughs> ah! Yo. Hello. How are you doing? How do you get on? Uh, we kind of got screwed in the beginning. In the beginning, we ended it with no kills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get, uh, get, get, get this. We got seventeen kills and got beat. Seventeen. And got yeah. beat. This is the face of a man that knows he's pretty fucked. They got a combined seventeen kills last game and still lost. Mine and Minion's best game was like ten kills. We had to perform and get seriously lucky here if we were going to win. Right, you never know what's going to happen, peeps. Let's just get our game on. Nothing else matters. Focus on the game. Ah, oh, sweet. Outlaw. I've got a sniper, boys. That's fantastic. The guy right in front of me. He just called me out, so he's made it through here. Is it one Sam says? He's out back. 
another one uh, fucking 34, 34. How are you not dead, mate? Are you kidding me? Nice. Right. Okay. Okay. Woo! It's all right. So they've got they've got three kills and we've got three kills. All right. We're tying. We're level pegging, folks. We're level pegging. And Jazz G sure is down. Jazz G sure is out the game. I mean, sorry, he's dead. All right. Okay. But that doesn't matter. That does not matter. Oh. Uh. Oh wait. No. That's smoke. Oh, people in the cornfield north. Uh, 302 in front of us. It's just one at the moment. Oh, that's a zombie. a zombie. Fuck, my bad. <laughs> oh, getting shot. Uh, behind me, about 46. Right on me, right on me. He's in the white van. Nice. Six kills. It's not bad. It's not bad. We're doing all right. Three kills behind, but there's 30 people left. Plenty of time. Shots. Two are down at top. Ah, he's chasing him, Squish Casper. He's chasing him. He's not getting this. Ah, oh, fuck you. I've got a grapple as well. What do you think of that? Nice. Casper's got ten. We've got eight. It's still close here. We're behind by two kills now instead of three. But he's down. He's out. He's out. Okay, but he's got eleven kills. We need three kills or more. We got a grenade and an arrow. I'm getting on the back. I'm getting on the back. He'll finish me. So here's me, the last person in the game. I need to bag myself three kills to get through to the next round or else we're out of the competition. At this moment in time, it seems like I'm surrounded in this little house by two squads with no grenades or a real way of defending myself. How do you think I'm feeling at the moment? Shh, sugar. Ah, uh, bollocks. Oh, well. Uh, well. That's it now. We've lost. We're out of competition. I just wanted to win one game, but whatever. We put up a better fight in the second game. We got eight kills combined that time. That feeling was raw, but you can't always get what you want, I guess. I was just kind of glad we didn't completely embarrass ourselves in the second game. Well, well we put up a good fight, didn't we? We got nine kills, didn't we? Was it eight, nine kills? So we were out, but the competition was still far from over. Anyone who was out had the role of spectating the other games in these rounds. Zerka was up against Sprat, so he would have lost at that point anyways because, well, he's just too good and so... Off he goes into the loser bracket and unfortunately loses again to iTemp in the loser bracket, but GG's. Gaz, the one who beat us, won the game he was in against Codename Pizza and was up against Nogla in the next round, who beat Vicstar in his game. Syndicate and his duo actually lost in the second round, but beat Minilad in the loser bracket to advance into round three of the loser bracket. That was a lot of information to take in, but here's what the competition looks like now. The people remaining are Cyanide and PSI Syndicate or Sin, Optic Sprat and Mr. Dalek JD, Syndicate and iTemp, and Gaz and Nogla. At this point in the stream, I was getting a bit lost on who to spectate and was finding myself streaming someone else who died who was also streaming someone else. Oh, Vicstar's out! Vicstar's out! Vicstar's out! Because he, he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Look, look how many people. <laughs> Just have three people here. You've got Syndicate, me, and Vic. Actually, you know what? Uh, I can't be asked to spectate anyone else, so I'm just gonna... There, there we go. Now it's my stream. As you can see here, the people in the upper bracket only have to win two more games to make it into the grand final, whereas the people in the loser bracket have to win four games at this point. The first game, Cyanide vs Sin, Cyanide lost and made his way into the loser bracket, who will now play the winner of Syndicate and I Temps game. This one was tough for Syndicate's team. He got some seriously nice plays in which really played in his favour towards the end because near the end his duo partner died and at this point there's only one person left and that one person will decide who goes through. Bro, bro, bro. Ice, ice, be my eyes, be my eyes. Fucking eyes right now, bro. No! That's how we fucking do it! Solo boys, let's go! Syndicate still manages to scrape it through and knocks iTemp out of the tournament. Congrats and GG's there. Optic Sprat, who was playing Mr. Dalek JD, knocked him into the loser bracket and advances into the final of the upper bracket against PSI Sid. Now Gaz, the pair who knocked us out of the tournament, lost to Nogla in his duo, so he's now out of the tournament with us, and Nogla advances to play Mr. Dalek in the next round. Here's how it looks now. Just six contestants out of the original 16. 
PSI Sin versus Sprat, which is now a best out of three games, the winner of which will be in the grand final, Cyanide versus Syndicate, and Mr. Dalek versus Nogla. At this point in Nogla's game, all contestants are dead except for Dalek's champion. He has to get one more kill to get him and Dalek through to the next round, otherwise Nogla goes through. So stakes are high here. What's up? It did. Oh, he got Nogla. In the he, oh. oh, dude. Did he die? Yeah. Shit. Yes. <laughs> Nogla's through. Really unlucky there, but Nogla manages to see it through. On the flip side, in Syndicate's game, everyone is dead now except for Cyanide's champion, and he only needs one kill to get them through or else Syndicate goes through. So it's the exact same situation. Only one kill is needed here to knock Syndicate's team out. And... No! 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 What does this mean? What does it mean? Look at him, you can't believe it. Look at him. Syndicate manages to see it through once again by luck and now plays Nogla. Two games before the grand final. Over in Sprat's game, Sprat ended up winning 2-0 on a best out of three to advance to the grand final. His champion is now guaranteed to win at least £7,500 because they're in the final, whilst PSI Sin's champion is winning a guaranteed £1,600 because they're in the bracket finals. Whoever comes third out of the final four though will win £3,500. Now back to the loser bracket in Syndicate and Nogla's game. Nogla and his champion got off to a really unfortunate start and died pretty much straight away, which gave the win to Syndicate and his champion to advance into the final of the loser bracket. <laughs> so here's what it looks like now. There's just three contestants left. Whoever wins this loser bracket final will face Sprat in the grand final. This game here is a best out of three. Syndicate versus PSI Syndicate. The battle of the Syndicates. In the first game, Syndicate and his champion die midway through the game with a combined 9 kill tally. Oh no! PSI Sin's team have 3 kills, so they need to get at least 6 or 7 kills to win this first game. However, PSI Sin's team failed to do this, so the first game gets handed to Syndicate. At this point in the second game, PSI Sin's champion is out and he's now playing on his own, while Syndicate and his champion are both alive and well, and also ahead by 1 kill, so they've got a pretty big advantage, which is unfortunately too much to battle against with PSI Sin, and he goes out, leaving Syndicate and his champion Sebi to compete in the grand final with Optic Sprat. Oh my fucking god. We're in the finals, bro. Yeah, no, hang on, hang on. Let me just send this. They've won. They've yeah, won. Bro, let's send it. <laughs> They've won. No, send it. That's it. They're in the finals. <laughs> GG's, guys. Yeah, Sprat yeah, versus yeah, Syndicate in the, no in the final. So here's what the complete bracket looks like. Yes, we moved quick there, people, but I do hope we took most of that in. Anyways, here is now what the final complete bracket looks like. I will leave it up here sec so you can see how everything went down and how we got to this point. Now Syndicate lost his second game if you remember, so he's gone almost all the way from the loser bracket to the grand final playing a total of 7 games with some incredibly close calls and lucky wins leading him there. Optic Sprat has smashed it through the bracket playing 4 games and not losing any of them. The grand final is a best out of 3 game, however because Syndicate came from the loser bracket they're now at a disadvantage. They have to win two sets of best out of three games to win, while Sprat only has to win one of them. So Syndicate will need to win a best out of three, and then win another best out of three, while Sprat only needs one. So it's going to be pretty tough. It's all been leading up to this though. £15,000 and a KFC black card are on the line here. The runners up champion will win £7,500, but of course there's only one black card to go around. Oh. 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 oh my god! How did they do that? Fairly early on, Sprat is down and out, so Syndicate's team are at a big advantage. And not soon after that, Sprat's duo partner gets downed as well. So an unlucky first game for Sprat's team, but a needed good start for Syndicate's team. It's 1-0 to them. The next game kicks off quick. A few quick kills from both sides, but at this point Syndicate's team is up by one. But their good form is cut short a tad when Syndicate's champion Sebi is down and out. Sebi's down, Sebi's dead. And not long after that, Syndicate joins him. Sprat's team now need four kills to win this round to make it 1-1. They managed to pick up a couple kills towards the end. And now when it starts to get a bit hectic with both of them still alive, they do manage to pick up two kills and win the second round to make it 1-1. So as it stands, if Sprat wins the next round, they win the competition and the KFC black card. 
If Syndicate wins, they'll play one more best of three games and whoever wins that will be victorious. Now this is where it really matters. You might have noticed I've been watching a lot of Syndicate, which wasn't completely intentional. I apologise to Sprat for not giving him more screen time on my part, but his games will prove to be very entertaining and I was very eager to see if he was going to win in series reaction if he did. Dude, look at all these kills from these fourth players. It's insane, dropping all these bots like flies. In the road here! There's four team of three! Go on, go on. I'm getting shot. Keep it shot. Keep it going. Stay down, stay down, stay down, yeah. stay down. On the roof, on the roof as well! Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down. Nice one. Stay down, stay down. Nice one. I need to come from the road. Covering, covering. He's in that room, he's over there. Out, out in that. Yo, left side, left side, side. Some heavy and intense gameplay going on here, but despite their best efforts, they soon get hit with some bad luck. Oh, Sebi's down. Got three. Jesus. Partner's down. I think he's out. Yeah, he's out. You're only down by. You're only down by four. But yeah, we had to. We had to. With the, with the amount we're down, we had to play for that kill. I mean. So Syndicate now has to get four kills on his own, not even accounting for how many kills Sprat and his duo partner are going to pick up on the way. It's not looking good for Syndicate. Just a couple minutes later, Syndicate now needs 7 kills with 20 people left. Unless some sort of miracle happens, it looks like the victory is being handed to Sprat. GG's. That might be it boys. Is that it? It might be, we don't know yet. But we did know really, it just wasn't 100% official yet. But despite their best efforts, Syndicate's team lost to Sprat's team by many kills. And that's it. Come on, I hit every boy then. That's it, that's the end. Did an amazing run. Did an absolutely well, incredible run. Oh, GG. GG Sprat. Let's open Sprat. Let's open Sprat. GG to Syndicate, but GG to Optic Sprat for smashing the tournament and winning that KFC Black Card. Unlimited chicken lifetime goodness. I am slightly jealous, even though I never really had a proper chance, but well played, well deserved, and GG's uh, to everyone. This was a really fun event to be a part of. Despite being knocked out early, it was still great to compete and I want to thank KFC and Activision for allowing me to be part of this tournament once again. GG's and thanks to everyone who competed in my qualifiers and I hope to see you dudes in the next video of mine. Take care. And good. <laughs>